Yo, what's up, Dipsy? What's good, Jake? What's good, bro? Dang, what's going on, man? You sound tired, huh? Yeah, man. I just, I just been so, so tired nowadays. Just. I don't think I don't know why. You've been locked up in that room making videos. You gotta go find you some tail, man. I don't know, man. I, I, I've been busy. I, I just don't think I got, I got time for. But shit like, you know, just... Bro, you could literally download Tinder and have a random girl in your dorm room in five minutes. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, fam. It's like making easy macaroni in the microwave, but with vagina. Hookup? Culture? Hookup? Culture, what do these two words mean? What do they mean? Now, to put it quite simply, a hookup culture is just a culture that accepts as well as encourages casual sexual encounters while at the same time not necessarily having a need for any of the bonding and commitment that comes with that. Now, most hookups tend to fall in the category of one night stands meaning one-time sexual affairs. Now, where these take place tend to be at house parties, nightclubs, and bars. These three areas are the most prominent spots that I guess you could say embody hookup culture as a whole. Students at Harvard University were interviewed about hookups, and one of the students said hooking up is a process where people go on the hunt for a one-time hookup and then ignore the person after. In my opinion, that quote exemplifies exactly why I believe hookup culture will eventually become increasingly unpopular. Number one, what exactly are you accomplishing when you ignore a person whom you know you had sex with and they know you had sex with them? What are you accomplishing? All you're really accomplishing by doing that is admitting to yourself, as well as them, that you're insecure and you can't live with the decisions that you chose to make. But hey, that's that's just beyond me. You know, I guess some of y'all think you can erase history, like I can just erase words off this whiteboard, huh? Number two, people don't care if their partner is climaxing or not. They just wanna get themselves off and call it a day. All you're doing is just guaranteeing bad sex. As a result of this, people are gonna realize that the sex they have in relationships is better. And as a result, they're gonna forego hooking up altogether. Which is already happening, by the way. So if you guys are gonna be participants in hookup culture, step one, I would say is just Make it enjoyable for yourself as well as your partner because the stories that I'm hearing are just just simply atrocious, quite frankly. It's your boy Dipsy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. Peace out.